What up guys, this is Jared from GGG and this is Throwback Thursday Season 2. That's right, I'm back with 13 new retro games from the 90s and early 2000s. What's different about this season? Besides the fancy new intro and outro, I've added a review section to each episode along with general information of the game. Moving on, if you haven't guessed, today's game is Doom. Doom was released on December 10th, 1993 as freeware by id Software, quickly becoming one of the most popular games ever. But uh, that's, I'm going to cover that a little bit more as that's uh, one of our facts. In fact, uh, the FPS genre was known as Doom Clones until more high profile games like Quake came onto the stage. Consider that a bonus fact. Now, I've already played this game a little bit beforehand on one of the more original versions, like from a floppy disk. And uh, I played a bit more recently on the version that you have in the background, which is the Ultimate Doom. And really, uh, only recently in the last few months have I really come to understand why this game was so good and like, like kind of respected in that aspect. And it's just one of those things that you have to understand why uh, every game, like all FPSs are the way now because of Doom and like Wolfenstein 3D which came before this, but from the same developer. Anyways, uh, but let's get on to the facts. Fact number one, with exception to the SNES version, players cannot be killed by their own rockets flying into them unless that they die by another means and then respawn in front of it. Or of course you blow it up right next to you. Fact number two, voodoo doll hijinks. Okay, this is a two-parter guys. If a player with pre-existing damage attacks a voodoo doll and loses, they enter an undead state in which monsters no longer try to harm them, but they can no longer use any weapons. Using a health pack returns the player to the living. Part two. If a player with more than 100% health attacks a voodoo doll and wins, they enter an undead state in which they cannot move and must wait for the sweet embrace of death by a monster. Fact number three. Hold on guys. Okay, this is a long one. Ready? Doom is one of the most highly ported and probably most played games. You can find official copies for MS-DOS PCs, Next Step PCs, OS2 PCs, Irix PCs, Solaris PCs, Mac OS 9, Linux, Windows, Acorn Risk PCs, Atari Jaguar, Sega 32X, PlayStation, SNES, 3DO consoles, Sega Saturn, Game Boy Advance, Xbox with a pairing of uh, Doom 3, Xbox 360 over Xbox Live Arcade, PS3 paired with Doom 3 or on PlayStation Network Store, Tapwave Zodiac, and iOS. That's 21 official platforms. However, unofficial ports not by like Bethesda or um, id software uh, include the Commodore Amiga, Mac OS X, DS, Digita OS, which is the operating system for older uh, digital cameras, uh, Android, Sony Ericsson phone, uh, Symbia S60 and S80 phones, Zune, Zune HD, TI Inspire, or the you know the big fancy calculators, HTML5, Flash, Java, a mod for Doom 3 which allows you to play Doom within the game. Uh, bring the total amount of platforms that Doom is on to 34. At least that's through their official wiki, but there's probably a few extra copies of Dooms through other platforms that we don't know about. Fact number four, in 1995, more computers had Doom than Windows 95, so Bill Gates arranged for a unique version of Doom, specifically for Windows 95, which helped sell Windows 95 to the consumer. Fact number five, in 1996, the US Marine Corps commissioned a custom version of Doom to help train Marines in squad tactics. Bonus fact, some of the guns in Doom are just photographs of cheap plastic toys from like Toys R Us. Here's my review for the game. Doom is the game that helped make FPS's popular. While it is dated, many of the mechanics are similar to modern games. Navigating the levels can get confusing at times, but the game is still a blast. Yes, that was a pun, just to clarify. If it were released today, excluding a score for graphics, of course, I would easily give it a 7 out of 10. I had more fun playing this than most of the newer Call of Duties. Do you have any questions, comments, or just plain gibberish? Put it in the comments section below, and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday on Game Guardians Genesis. Thank you.